Rockefeller. I think Rob did that. But this guy right here, this guy, I had thought he was in the Office Space movie. Steven Rogers, he looks like the guy in Office Space, the movie. He had a locker next to Randy. Now you tell me that kind of doesn't, that kind of looks like him, doesn't it? I don't know. It just does. Oh, there's one of the, that's the sideways. Evil stepsister. The, the, evidently that has something to do with, uh, <laughs> Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Anyways, it has something to do with the less miserables, the tricks. Anyways, LES colors, Lincoln Electric Systems are black and orange, and you know, trick or treat smell my feet, and and their psychotic nightmare. Of me being Cinderella trapped by the evil stepsisters and their Tanglewood correlations with Cinderella and uh, so forth. Now, Jeff Solage, he, his, Jeff Solage, his father is Coach, um, Coach Solage, who used to be the assistant coach for Nebraska football, right? Um, his father, uh, they lived on the Beckner Street when I was little, and I don't remember it, but because we lived there up until I was age four. My mom used to babysit Jeff uh, Solage, and um, evidently he burnt the house down or something like that, Jeff Solage. So anyways, Mr. Solage is now a coach, I think, in Ohio. I don't know if that has something to do with the Partridge family or whatever, but... This stuff is really stupid, okay? But everybody's already figured that out already, in the public. Their correlations and how they came about to do their stupid, stupid stuff with government and so forth. Now the Jason names, here's Jason Wolf. The Jason names are relevant because it went to school with Jason Sailors. I don't think I've passed him yet, but in the yearbook but then there's Jason Turner, which is African American. And as I said, um, there's Jason, then there's Jason Riddle. That's where they got the Batman correlation. Jason Riddle is Shannon's friend and lives near the Holmes Lake Devi, Levy. Greg Bale, you know, they got their bales of hay and their and their uh, fork at the end of the road, the devil trafficking. Well, as I said, fork at the end of the road. And um, Jeff or Greg Bale grew up in Thunderbird. Thunderbird Estates. That's where he lived in high school. There's Chris Cotty. He's a Freemason. His family, his father owns the house and the Knowles. And that's where they got the, their correlations with wanting to declassify play school of declassification and then make me some sort of pawn for it. Me and my children. Jelaine Clark, right there. She lived at the 5421 address, Corbridge Circle. I grew up with the Clark family.
There's Troy Dorr, where they got their Dorr idea from, I guess. So, Joel Dorn went to Southwood Lutheran Church with us. And he has a sister named Shelly Dorn. Shelly Dorn. And they got that from the Van Dorn. Correlation to... Look at that, George. Marcy Fry. Is it Mercy? Does this have something to do with a, your three-way calling system? Anyways. Um, where was that? Joel Gibson and Margaret Gibson. 5510 Quaveridge Circle is how they came about using the book, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret, with the little girl getting her first period. So they use the Joel names with, and then there's a tariff on, on lots of money and so forth. There's Joel Gibson right there. Now, as I said, I had thought he looked a lot like Jeb Bush. Joel was adopted. And you, if you think maybe he looks like Jeb, Bu Jeb Bush, I don't know. But he was adopted. And there's Wendy Goodyear right next to him. So, as I said, Zephyr Train goes to California. And a tornado wins. And, you know, what you do at school, you get ducked under a desk. Or back in the days of the 50s where they had... The Missile Crisis. So, Wendy Goodyear, the history of Goodyear tires, and um, I guess Pippi Longstocking and Wendy's Hamburgers with Richard Nuremberger, the county treasurer. Okay. I cut out the picture on this one. Shannon's missing because I cut out the picture, but I put posted pictures on. She is... One of the people I'm after, Shannon Hubert Bartusik. She's one of the evil stepsisters. She would be my half sister, my father's um, illegitimate child, bastard child. Um, Christy Hubert um, harbors her, and she is a one I believe that planned and plotted with Kim or the Lassens, because Kim's the other evil stepsister. Yellow, they're both yellow. Okay. And, you know, they wanted to trap me in here because the well's across the street, right? So, as I said, her picture's gone. I took it out, okay? So, as I said, um, I've been living here with my father two and a half years. And she, um wanted my father to abuse me every day, playing Larry Hagman, I Dream of Jeannie, Sideways with Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and she's posing as me, and so is Kim Hedlin Lassen at times. Evil stepsisters, identity theft, um, and so forth. There's Tim Lassen, Kim Hedgelin Lassen's husband. They had the SS Lassen named after them. Commissioned on me and Robert's anniversary date of April 21, but it was of a different year. I think it was like 1997, but I'm not sure what year the, it was commissioned. But April 21st, 1994, Robert and I got married at the county courthouse. They said that they wanted to, George Bush wanted to use my marriage as a weapon with Barack Obama for extortion purposes to thus try to undermine my power of attorney rights of me and my children because they planned all the murders of my children and made neighborhoods and streets out of them. And as I said, he, his mother, Tim Lassen, uh, Velma Lassen 
And um, Velma Lassen, he doesn't have long hair now. He has short hair, okay? His uh, parents live, he's adopted. His parents, Bob and Velma Lassen, live in the Mars house, okay? Which is very important. They live in the Mars old house, and that's where they got their Uncle Ben's rice correlations to Mars chocolate, caught red-handed M&M's. Okay? <laughs> All right, well, anyways, <laughs> I, I, don't, I guess I didn't like her back in high school, but, you know, when you do that when you're kids, you put marks on there, but, anyways... <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, look at all the Petersons. There's Marsha Pace. Oh, they got the pacemaker idea with my mom and Brady Bunch and her her brother's name is Mark. Look at all the Peters and Peterson names. Jason Rumler. There's another Jason name. Red Rum from The Shining. Here's Robert next to Robert Rudabush. There's Tom Rosso. The second guy is Tom Rosso, which I thought he looks a lot like Dane Cook. This guy right here looks like a lot like Dane Cook. Anyways, as I said, there's Polly Rowe. There's Jason Rumler. Anyways, as I said, um, so that's how they made some of their stupid correlations. And, um, so, hmm, that's a little sideways, isn't it? I'm going to have to upload this to a bigger site because this is a lot of time on this recording. This is just so for documentation. Because the yearbooks, my yearbooks are extremely relevant. I'm not sure, but my two other two were missing. My red and my white one are from Pound Middle School. I'm not sure if Shannon came over and took it. Or they're around here somewhere. I don't know. She steals my stuff. They steal my stuff. Poses me. Dress like me. Sometimes they're trying to sideways. They've, they've taken a lot out. Shannon's got an Irish name. And my son, Sean, they sideways with treason. And she's been poisoning, she's been over there, Yellow Shannon's been over there poisoning my children at the South Haven home. She's the one that hangs out with rock stars. I think she's around uh, Mike from Lincoln Park a lot. That I call Peter. He's, he's supposed to help her trap me in in this psycho-lunatic nightmare, I guess. Um... I'm not sure if he's ever, he's made a statement about the situation, but he hangs out with her. I don't know him. Okay, I think I'm going to stop this recording. And then, um start a new one to continue the yearbook